Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and in my last video I showed you how to put some wrinkles on the new chimpanzee mask and now I've got him all painted. I'm going to show you how I did that in this video. It went really fast, but I think he came out pretty good. He's very, very happy. <laughs> Now, if you would like to make a chimpanzee mask of your own, you can find the pattern at ultimatepapermache.com slash chimp mask. Let's go ahead and get started. I started out with a coat of acrylic gesso this time, but I do often use latex primer instead or, or even a spray primer. They all work about the same way. They, they seal the paper mache and they give it a nice white ground so the colors will be brighter with fewer coats of acrylic paint when you're actually putting the face on your chimp. When the gesso was dry, I drew some teeth on with a pencil. Now, if you aren't a primatologist, and I'm certainly not, it, it's actually kind of hard to tell if a chimp is actually smiling because he's happy or if he's showing all of his teeth because he's scared. So I looked uh, through a whole bunch of photographs and I just found something that looked to me like a real smile and that's what I penciled on. After the teeth were drawn on, I went back around them with a dark gray and I'll paint the teeth later. I will also go back over that gray and make it a little bit darker. The chimp photograph that I'm using for my model has skin the same color as mine. <laughs> He's a Northern European. I mixed his skin color with yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and white, and I brushed that over the face and ears. I keep looking at those photographs of happy chimps, and a lot of them show pink gum line above the teeth. So I just went ahead and added some red to the skin color, and I painted some gums <laughs> above his upper teeth. And then I painted the teeth themselves white so you can't see the pencil lines. Someone out on YouTube suggested that you could make teeth with some false fingernails, and that would be a great idea, but here in my little town, I couldn't buy any, <laughs> so I, I went ahead and painted them. When I was making that silly ogre mask that I made last month, I, I looked online to see how people paint a five o'clock shadow on an acrylic portrait. And quite a few people suggested letting the skin tones dry and then use a, a transparent black glaze over it so that the skin tones will show through. I tried that on the ogre and it, it looked good on him, so I decided to try that on the, the chimp too, just around the eyes and around the nose where it's a little bit darker, but you can still see the, the light um, people colored skin coming through. I painted some black fur on the back of his head, a few dark brush marks on his jawline. And at that point, I, I decided he was okay. But <laughs> I have a really hard time not messing around with him. I decided he'd be more okay <laughs> if he wasn't quite as pink. So I mixed a little bit more yellow ochre into the skin tone and added some golden glazing liquid to that too to make it transparent because I didn't want to cover up the the skin. I just wanted to give it a, just a little warmer tones. I brushed that over all the the pink that was exposed and I put just like I dry brushed it over the wrinkles just to make them stand out just a little bit more. I put a swirl of that color in his ears to make him look a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so now the chimpanzee's all done. <laughs> The, I, I do design my masks for adults to, to make them. There's a lot of pieces and it takes a little bit of time to put them together. They're not really for kids to make, but this one and the, the bunny that I just made um, last week would be really great for, <laughs> for kids to wear. Fortunately, grandmas like me actually enjoy making things like this. So if you happen to be too young to, to put all the pieces together, you just think that maybe you're not quite ready for that. Uh, you probably have somebody older in the family who would really like doing it. I'm going to actually try it on. <laughs> now, there are probably some people who would be a little bit embarrassed by the idea of, of pretending to be a chimpanzee, <laughs> even for Halloween. But I really like these. They're wonderful animals, and I just think he's really cute. Now, if you want to make one of your own, like I said, you can um, use my pattern, ultimatepapermache.com slash chimpmask. Now go make something <laughs> and come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.